Hey cookie fans, welcome back to another video with me, Cookie Swirl. See? <laughs> it's time. It's time for kitten magic. I'm excited for kitten match. Look at the adorable kitties. Welcome. Yes. All right. Time for kitten match. May I try your cookie? Please, just a bite. Please, no. You'll eat the whole in one bite. All right. Let's see what's going on with the cats today. Because now we're in the kitchen and we're getting this place completely fixed up now. Let's get the cabinet fixed up. Because they're all cracked. Okay. So we could go with the green to match where the oven is. Ooh. Look at all the colors with this one. Or this one. Well, as much as I don't want to add glass in the kitchen anymore, I still think this one works because it goes with the oven. And I really like that turquoise color, as you can tell by my outfit. So we'll go with this one. All right, anyway, we've finally gotten everything out of the cabinets. Edie would be absolutely furious if she saw this mess. Oh, the coffee beans too. We found them. Yeah, these are my treasured beans. Edie was never very keen on them, but I hope Taylor will like them. <gasps> are they gonna make me something to drink? I'll take a cocoa. The flavor must be rich. Taylor, let's get a coffee machine to make a nice brew. And maybe a cocoa too. All right, so we're gonna put in a coffee cocoa machine. Hmm, okay, what do we like? Ooh, this one comes with dishes. Ooh, and what are these right here? That almost looks like syrups for like maybe Sundays. We can do the orange set. So it looks like this one comes with some oils. Or we can do this one where we've got flour and it comes with knives. Ooh. We'll go with this set because we can make a whole bunch of other items now that this also comes with some pots. Looks perfect for the kitchen. There you go, kitties. I hope you like it. You pour a perfect milky design in the espresso, stunning the two cats. Taylor makes latte art like a barista. Just the smell alone is... Mm, but we shouldn't have seconds. Taylor, we should rest since we've got a ton of work ahead of us tomorrow. Tomorrow? That's when Edie is coming back. I've got to figure out how to tell her about the truck. Oh, I don't want to see her in tears. Don't fret, Annie. Edie is your best friend. She'll support you no matter what. Even if she does become sad, Taylor and I will be here to console her. Meow. I'm so lucky to have you two. Thank you, Taylor and Kitty. Let's head to bed. Good night. Nice. Oh, kitty cash. Oh, that means we can buy another outfit for them. Thank you, kitties. Nighttime. Ah, morning. Yep. Yeah. Good morning, Taylor. Annie was tossing and turning all night long. So, Annie... Would you like to share the fruits of your contemplation? Hear me out, my friends. I've come up with two plans on how to tell Edie the news. First, get her to go on another trip. Second, I take the truck out every day pretending to sell cakes. Which one do you think is better? I, I think Annie should just tell her. I mean, she knows Edie best. Wait a second, Annie. These should be called plans to never tell Edie. You spend all that time thinking only to decide to keep lying to her? <gasps> ah, I just don't know how I could even do it. I really don't want her to be upset. Meow, Taylor, I'm worried seeing Annie so worked up. Maybe we can make breakfast to give her some encouragement. Yes, please, please can we make some breakfast? I'm so excited. But I don't know if the kitchen is exactly ready for us to start making breakfast. Look at we still have broken glass cabinets, cracked cabinets, spider webs. But I am hungry. That's kind of you, Kitty, but the stove's been out of order for a while now. Can't even cook an egg. Well, we definitely need to fix that right away. That's fine. Annie, we're about to start working anyway. Taylor, let's switch out the stove and cabinets too while we're at it. Yes, and then we can start making some breakfast. Okay, change out the cabinets. Yes, and the stove. Ooh, that looks good. Okay, so it's all matchy-matchy. Hmm, double frying pans with the more orangey red. Or we've got the darker cabinet with two pots. We'll do this one. Oh, I can't wait to see what we cook. Oh, it's sparkly. New cabinets, a new stove, and new pots and pans. Come, Taylor. Let's get some stuff out of the fridge and make breakfast. There's milk and some eggs in there. Shall I make omelets? Yes, yes, please, yes, please. But when Annie opens the doors, her face dropped. Oh, no! The milk and eggs have got bad. How could this be? They've been in the fridge all this time. You just can't trust appliances in an old house. Kitty, Taylor, I'm declaring the fridge is broken. No problem. Let's go ahead and replace it. It needs to be replaced. Look at it. It's like literally rusting in front of us. Now, there's definitely a horrid stench. Ew. Now, Taylor, looks like we have to first get rid of this broken fridge. Oh, so happy to. Okay, get rid of the broken fridge. Let's just get it out of here. Kitties deserve so much better than this. Like, actually, nobody should have to eat from that fridge. Get it out of here. Sorry, friends. There's nothing good to use here, and you're suffering because of it. It's fine, Annie. Edie is going to be back soon. I just want to get this reno done ASAP. Oh, but there's still a lot to do. What if we don't finish in time? Don't fret. Taylor will get it done. Since the fridge is out of order, we should resolve it first. Everything will work out if we take one step at a time. Taylor, what do you think if we rearrange the layout of the space 
starting by putting a fridge cabinet. Yeah, that sounds great. All right, so yes, we get to change the cabinets out. Oh, yes. So is it gonna be like a built-in fridge? Oh, <gasps> yes, it is. Okay, so the matchy one, this color, or this one that has a ton of small little drawers. Oh, but look at this one's got like a teeny tiny like little window. Okay, definitely this one. There we go. A fridge cabinet, why of course. Why hadn't I thought of that? This serves as a storage space and designated area for the fridge. You are brilliant, kitty. You know, Annie, we have to thank Taylor's creativity which constantly surprises us. Taylor, now it's time for you to show off your creativity and choose a new fridge for me. Yes. All right, new fridge. Ooh, yellow, that can actually match the oven and these pots and pans. Or we can go with the white one. <gasps> Or we can match it with the blue. Let's do this yellow one so it's so, so matchy. Perfect. It's incredible, Taylor. How did you know I wanted a double door fridge? Remember the slips of paper we picked up? One of them reads Annie's double door fridge. Turns out Edie had wanted to get one for you a long time ago. We're just borrowing her idea. Oh, Edie, now I feel even worse. If I were to tell her about the truck and the fact that I wouldn't need such a large fridge, she'd be devastated. Suddenly, there's a quick rap on the door. Ow! Someone's knocking. Annie, could it be Edie? No, 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 no. We still got so much work to do, and now she's back? How am I supposed to tell her all this? I, I... Take a deep breath, Annie. Don't panic. We'll go to the door with you. Get the door. Who is it? Who's here? Who's here? There they go. Okay, let's go get the door. <gasps> is that her? Mike? Who's Mike? Hiya, how are you? Hi there, I'm Kitty, and this is Taylor. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. You must be Annie's roommate. No, 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 no. Hang on, Kitty. This isn't Edie. I don't even know this cat. Excuse me, Calico, but who are you? Wait, a another cat just walked into this house? Okay, what does he want? Meow, you must be the Siamese, Annie. Edie just can't stop talking about you. It's very nice to meet you. And Kitty, and Taylor, of course. Look at how cute he is, you guys. Ahem, everyone, my name is Mike, and I'm Edie's boyfriend. <gasps> hmm, wait a minute. Edie's boyfriend? Did Edie ever mention this to Annie? What? Boyfriend? But she's never told me anything about a boyfriend. Plus, where is she now? She should be the one standing here, not you. The airline lost Edie's luggage, so she stayed behind to look for it and might be back tomorrow. She sent me here first to tell you because she didn't want you to worry. Guys, look at his face. Should we trust him? No, mister, let me tell you. I, Annie, am Edie's BFF. If she had a boyfriend, I'd be the first to know, but she's never once told me about any mics. Therefore, you must be an imposter, a liar. <gasps> Okay. Whoa there, chill out, Miss Annie. Watch your language. I am indeed Edie's boyfriend. <laughs> Look, I even brought a fresh bouquet to leave a good first impression. Meow, yeah, Taylor, looks like Annie doesn't trust Mike that much. But since Mike has come bearing gifts, I think it'd be okay to accept it in Annie's place. Otherwise, the flowers are going to wilt. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, Kitty, yeah, it's really sweet that he did bring some flowers. We should definitely take the flowers. We don't want them to get thrown out. But we shouldn't just trust him just because he has flowers. Or because he's so adorable. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. Are we getting a new kitty? Mike? Is that you? Oh, it's him! All right, information. Mike, he's a Japanese bobtail. He traveled around the world to learn cooking and every dish he made has a pleasant smell. Hmm. That's good. So he's also a chef. He's gonna fit right in. No wonder he came walking in right into the kitchen. So we added in a brand new kitty. Welcome, Mike. I mean, I hope Annie's okay with that. Wait, it looks like we need to add in a tree here and there might be something going on here. All right, let's see what's happening here. Oh, I got a gift. Ah, look at the poopy box. Open the gift. Okay, we definitely need to take care of some things in here. Scoop the litter, water. Okay, this looks much better. But wait a minute, where's Mike? He's not in here. Should we add him? I don't know if we should add him just yet because I wanna make sure Annie is okay with this and that he really is Edie's boyfriend. So let's go back to the kitchen. Taylor, Lance, my candy house is opening. Oh, <gasps> candy house? Candy house? But I'm too busy to deal with so many orders. Could you help me? Oh, it's Lance. Sure thing. Taylor, let's see how we can help with Annie's candy house. Yes? Oh, <gasps> You have to fill two glass bottles on the same side to sell candies. After completing levels, the number of pieces that you have collected will be displayed here. Okay, look at the kitty. She looks so cute. Okay, the candies are filling. She's got a treasure chest. All right, so let's play a level so we can help her fill the candy. So we need to catch, what are those, like jello blobs? What are those? In cat food. Beach balls. 
Yes. Okay, we got another can of cat food. We just need two more. Oh, there goes another. We need to get this other can of cat food. Yes, okay, we got all the cat foods. Now we just need this jello stuff cleared because it's like they're stuck in it. Yes. All right, got it. Finish the level. <gasps> Wait, what is this? Time experiment. There's a new cat. Welcome to my laboratory. Taylor, try to mix these magical potions. Let's try it. Okay, we're making, ah! Oh, ooh, oops. A strange light flashed. You and Stella arrives at a huge time rift. Come to cross the time tunnel together and decorate the time limited room with time silver coins. Christmas gift room, New Year's restaurant, Japanese courtyard, fantasy garden, firework celebration, maple party, shrieking castle, spring festival, sunny spring outing. Guys, these are so cute. Summer water park, panda estate, space station, Christmas Bizarre, Origami Valley. Okay, I don't even know which one to pick. I really like the Japanese Courtyard. I really want to pick that one, but we're heading into summer, so the summer water park sounds like it would be a lot of fun too. Oh, you can only choose one room to join the event and can't change it then. Should we do the summer water park? We're going for it. Happy summer. Taylor, hurry up to decorate the room. Enter. <gasps> It's a mess! Oh yeah, we definitely need to get this fixed up. It doesn't even look like a water park. Yeah, look at Abu, he feels really sad. Meow, kitty, it seems that few cats come here. This amusement park is now in bad repair. Oh, how could it be? We can't hold a pool party if there's no swimming pool here. Well, I think we've got a lot of work to do. Taylor, let's start with cleaning up these old things. We have to get this water park cleaned up. Clean up. Oh no, I don't have enough. All right, we need to collect marshmallows and fish. Oh, we got Mike here watching. Yes. Yes, we did it. All right, I still don't have enough to start cleaning up this water park, so I'm gonna have to do some gameplay so I can earn some more of this new currency. It looks like I need 60 of them. So we're gonna rebuild the water park for the kitties. It looks like we're still finishing the kitchen. We still have the candy house to do. So I still need to make some candy for her. Ooh, actually it looks like we need to put in a tree. <gasps> I do have two ribbons. Oh, flowers. Oh, are they the flowers he brought as a gift? Okay, so we can either put in the red ones, yellow, which goes so well in the kitchen. Oh. Oh, but these are so pretty. Wait, why is that sharp though? Okay, I'm gonna go with the yellow because after the flowers die, maybe the cats will use this as a cat tree. Doesn't it look like a cat tree? I think it totally does. So we'll go with that one. So Mike, was it? You say you're Edie's boyfriend. How did you meet? Meow. We met at the magnificent Taj Mahal. That day, Edie was painting by the rippling waters. The sun draped over her blue fur like a golden shawl. Wait, did he say blue fur? Then she smiled at me, and I thought, at the time, I'd seen an angel. Meow. Sounds so beautiful. So, Taylor, is it actually possible to find the one while on a journey? Hmm, he said blue fur. I need to know what color fur Edie actually has. Oh, cut it out. Name one rom-com that doesn't use that trope. How do I know he's not just making it up? Well, does Edie have blue fur? Look at his face. I swear, every word I said is true. Edie wasn't able to tell you because it was all unexpected. Neither of us could foresee our love. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Just stop talking. I don't want to hear a peep out of you before Edie comes back. No, Annie, Mike doesn't seem like a bad cat. I think you're just upset that Edie didn't tell you about their relationship. When she comes back, I'm sure she'll tell you all the details. But we should calm down and get back to our renovation project. Oh, you're renovating this place? Edie bought a neat handcrafted carpet for Annie. Why don't y'all pick one to lay here? Wow, a handcrafted carpet from India? Taylor, I can't wait to see it laid out. Let's go. Okay, oh no, it costs two. It costs two ribbons. I have no more ribbons. Okay, so there's so much going on in this game. I love it. We're building a water park. We need to find out exactly what's going on with Mike. Is he really Edie's boyfriend? So I'm gonna spend some time in the game just earning medals so then we can continue the story. So join me in the next kitten match. Have the most wonderful day. I'm so happy that you exist on this planet. Big hugs and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, amazing kitty cookies. Bye. Oh, yes, I have the most amazing merch with the softest, softest fabrics ever. I've got a hat with a golden cookie, a blue cookie swirl C long sleeve, a giant cookie that is a rainbow hologram on the back of that t-shirt and on the back of this hoodie too, and a golden cookie pin. Shop cookieswirlc.com.